Instantly recognizable sounds in rock music, the bars of a slow blues sequence. Rock music vocabulary begins with the blues, not only because it uh, initiated two major styles, rock and roll and rhythm and blues, but also because it permeates just about everything that you hear in rock today. Now, whatever the sort of music you play, it's worth your while to have a good look at blues, and we're going to spend the next half hour just doing that. We're going to look at the way it's been put together. And we're going to look at the way that blues has been a major influence on rock all around the world. The power of the blues lies with the emotions that the music unlocks. And this is due to a musical tension and resolution. There are three areas of tension and resolution. The first one is the solo voice, which is a vital feature of this style of music. The second is the chord structure and the bass lines that go with it. And the third is the development of the rhythm patterns. Originally, of course, blues grew out of the slavery of black people in the southern United States. It was just a vocal style of music. There were no rhythm patterns or backings. This followed on from an earlier vocal tradition of African music. When backings were devised, it was the guitar that seemed ideal to match the expressiveness of the vocals. Now, there are two elements to this. One is the notes that are used, and the other thing is the techniques that you can use to give these notes expression. Now, the notes are very simple. There are just five different notes in any key, and we call these the blues scale. Now, I'm going to show you all the examples and blues scale patterns in the key of A. This is a very popular key in blues. So I start with the A note on the sixth string, and this is how it sounds. Now, let's extend the one octave blues scale up another octave. So I'm going to play the same notes, starting on the note of A. Now I'm going to play the whole two octave blues scale. But of course on the guitar you can play notes in different positions. So you can play the blues scale in different patterns. Now, guitarists usually call these box patterns. Now, the two octave blues scale we've just been looking at is usually the first box pattern that you learn. The second one is like an extension of that blues scale. So, again, in A, it would start here on the third string. And the third box position has its root note on the fifth string. And again, it's a completed blues scale, going up to need two octaves. Once you've learnt these patterns and you can join them together, it means you can jam for hours. Now, we're going to look now at a great blues guitarist, the late Freddie King. Now he's just using the five notes of the blues scale mainly and in just one box position here. But you never think it to listen to him.
that sound is so powerful because of the tension between the minor nature of the blues scale and the major feel on the backing, particularly on the keyboards. But of course, it wasn't just the notes that Freddie was playing or the box position he was using. It was the way he played them. And we're going to look now at some techniques you can use to make the notes more expressive. Now, probably in playing blues, the two most important techniques are vibrato and string bending. They're usually used in conjunction with each other, but I'm going to look at them separately so you can see exactly how they're done. Let's look at vibrato first. Now, if I fret a string, a note in the blues scale, <clears throat> you'll notice that my hand position is different than usual. I've got my thumb much further up, and the neck is really lying between my first string and my thumb. Now, to get a slow, even vibrato, you need to move the string from side to side of where it would usually lie, so you're shifting the pitch of the note up and back down again. It sounds like this. Or faster. This gives the note a lot more sustain than usual. And we'll try this now out with the group, and you can see how this sounds, just using the notes from the blues scale. technique we're going to look at is string bending. Now on the guitar you can bend a string anything from a semitone right up to two tones. On the blues scale there are two notes in the scale that are most commonly bent. It's the fourth which in A it would start here on the third string and this note is usually bent up a tone so from here